Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Branson, Missouri with JC News Now, or Jimmy Boy. As he is uh, making himself well-known and a real pain in the ass for the local officers to the point where, well, they definitely know who he is. And, uh, well, one of them threatens to call his probation officer. Oh, so yeah, Jimmy Boy, so you might want to keep yourself on the low profile end of things because if you... Uh, throw any more temper tantrums, you just might end up back in the slammer, if you know what I mean. But in the meantime, guys, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, y'all? Hey, how's it going? Jesse knows now. I don't know what's happened here. Are you family? I don't answer questions. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. Uh, didn't you know this is uh, Jimmy Boy right here? He th he fancies himself a journalist, and that, so that's why he doesn't answer questions, because he would believe that it's a violation of his Fourth Amendment rights to do so. So, yeah, you can see how stupid he is. So just let him do his thing, and he should be on his way here in the next few minutes. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not here for you, ma'am. You know, Jimmy Boy, there's an old saying, you win more people over with honey than you do with vinegar. And uh, I'm surprised that nobody has walked up to you and taught you that lesson. Oh, wait, there was that guy at that dispensary one time that did teach you that lesson. And you know what? The police decided that he had done such a good job in teaching you that lesson that they decided they weren't going to prosecute him over that because, well, you earned that. Do you need help with anything tonight? No, sir. All right. Have a good night. You too. Uh, can I get your name and badge number since you engaged me? No, sir. No? I'll find it out now. You want to identify? All right. I'm going to put it online. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Okay. Now, there's another lesson that somebody tried to teach you that uh, didn't exactly make it through your thick skull, that uh, police are officers are only really are required to have uh, badges and ID numbers, and there is no universal police officer code that says that you have to identify upon command by a civilian. Nope, there is none. That's just something a bunch of whiny little punk frauditors invented to make yourselves look like a bunch of big, powerful, uh, strong men when you're actually just a bunch of wimps. Tell the truth now. Dipshit. A little longer than a few minutes later. No, sir. Okay. 
Uh, uh, one thing, can I get your name and badge sure. number? Absolutely, Mr. Hag. It's Officer Sigmund. Uh, badge number is 1028. How'd you so, know my How'd you know my name? I I just know things. So yeah. I'll uh, I'll also go ahead and contact your PO. Say that you got that you had Officer. Yeah, oh. officer, uh, officer contact. Is right. that a veiled threat? No, not that, at all. That's kind of a threat. Go ahead. He knows what I'm doing. Okay. Well, well, how does he know you? Well, gee, I wonder if the police in that area share information with each other on the details of who they encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. And much of this information includes the details of some whiny little punk asshole that thinks he is a big shot in the area. No, that couldn't be it. Or could it be... Yeah, maybe you have a YouTube channel that a lot of people know about in the area so they know who to look out for. Oh, or no. Or maybe it's a combination of all of them. Who knows? That's just something that I have to do. Okay. I'm a mandated reporter. Okay, cool. You know, Jimmy boy, I will also tell you something else here. That maybe it wasn't such a bright idea for you to get into your personal vehicle while filming this because you can definitely see the license plate of your car in this shot right here. And somebody with uh, some good software could probably get that license plate number and, well... Yeah, uh, maybe you should have thought about that beforehand because somebody who doesn't really like you too much, too much can, uh, well, use that to their advantage. But you know what? Uh, I guess you're just not the uh, sharpest tool in the shed, so, uh, gotta deal with the consequences of that as well. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?